got the 1911 here and that's got a laser sight in it as well and that just drops in. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome, my name's Task Force Vlogs and this is my son Joey and for today's video he's going to be the model and we're going to dress him from head to toe in airsoft equipment. So we're going through, uh, I'm starting airsoft again, I ain't done it for about a decade. Um, just needed to get back into it, needed some gear. This is pretty much all off Amazon. There'll be a whole list and link in description below. We're just gonna go through everything. Now there's a lot of options for face masks and things like that. We've got everything from the boots, the trousers, the armor, the helmets, the mask, the goggles, the glasses, anything you wanna do, the gloves, um, leg holsters, everything like that. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get into this. I've got a gun and things on the way and we're gonna get into um, the guns and things reviews after. Uh, currently got like air pistols and things like that if you want to check them out on the channel. We've got like 1911s, we've got air rifles, pistols, whatever you want. So for this sake, we're gonna be using these in the uh, pistol holsters and things like that. So, Joey, right, we're not gonna put him in the boots or the trousers or anything like that, we will just show you. Boots, it doesn't matter. As long as you're not wearing flip-flops or Crocs, you do not wanna get shot in the toe, that will probably hurt. <laughs> um, anything really, 20 pounds and up, get yourself some army boots, something that you don't mind getting destroyed. You'll be running around in rough terrain, inside mucky buildings, old factories, all that sort of stuff. They're going to get trashed. Don't spend loads. Get something that's just durable and comfortable. You don't want blisters and things either. So we're going to drop these to the side. That's your feet covered. All right. Trousers. Anything. Work trousers are good. Tactical trousers are good. As you can see, these are mine. Joe's even got a pair on at the minute. Um, you got uh, zip pockets there to keep stuff safe so it's not falling out. You got things in there. So you got them the button up. You've got lots of pocket space, very thick as well. So when you're getting shot, you're not gonna feel it, but you know, you'll hear the slap and you'll be like hit, etc. So trousers are good, need some thick trousers. Okay, all right, I'm gonna start dressing Joey up now. Uh, we're gonna go for, we'll show you a tactical leg holster. Now, this thing is about anywhere between 10 and 15 pounds. Everything I'm saying is gonna be in great British pounds. If you need a converter or something like that, go ahead. Um, so yeah, leg holster. Grips around your belt at the top, goes to your leg, and then it clips into Velcro spots there. So, we, and then it's got a button at the top, so we can put this sort of stuff in it. We're gonna put the revolver in there. Joey is gonna go and uh, strap this on to his leg. Right, so as you can see, that'll be through the belt hole, that clips in, and then you've got your pistol holster there. You cannot complain for the price, it's also adjustable for different sizes. That is a, Colt Python replica and that fits through perfectly and we've got the 1911 here and that's got a laser sight in it as well and that just drops in so draw it out boy put it back jobs are good then. okay so that was a hole so there's another one and you've also got a space on these things to put a uh, magazine down the side or a spare one so you can carry multiple mags with these things and then they just lock in so personal preference whatever you want if you have a sidearm so, pretty cool, pretty needed. All right, now we're gonna go for armor because we're gonna have to get this um, over his head. This is body armor. This is 40 pounds, link in description, and I'll be putting up photos on the screen as well. The good thing about this is, because you're airsofting, you could be doing it for five hours. In the back there is like where you put the water bladders, the hydration bags. So you put them in there, the straw comes through, Velcro's into a little thing, and then goes straight into your mouth. So let's get this on, Joey. All right, so. Turn around, Joey, face the wall. This is where the water bag would go and the straw would go through there and then you can just get it and do that if you need it. Turn back around, boy. This was 40 quid, um, but it's got all the attachments and things like that. You can put anything anywhere. You've got side things there, uh, lots of clips, places, magazine carries in there. Put different mags and you've got lots of room up the top. So, you know, this is pretty good, pretty durable, very good piece of equipment. Um, that's probably the most expensive thing out of this list. So we're talking 40 great British pounds there. Now for the face and head options, there is lots of options. We're gonna start with this device, anywhere between three pounds and five pounds are very cheap. Okay, so now Joey looks like he's off scuba diving. <laughs> Open face, you can have it closed face, you can have it all the way up there. So, and then you can also have this down as well for if you're wearing headwear, uh, headgear or you're too hot or something like that. So for this case, we're just gonna keep it like that for now. Joey could quite easily. Um, so these are just gun glasses. Um, if a BB hits them or something, you'll be absolutely fine. They're not gonna shatter or break or anything like that. If we put them on, 
Do it's face, it lay up, put one. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you good? Yeah, they're fine. All right, and they are locked in. So you could quite easily just go there and you're fully protected. Remember, it's just a BB. Um, there's a little bit of padding, but you're still gonna feel it if you get shot in the face and the head there. So, Joey, is that's one option that you can wear. We're about to get into this. We are talking 12 to 15 pounds, army gloves, Kevlar gloves, um, protected there, you can punch through a car windscreen or whatever. They've got air holes in there for air conditioning. And then this thing there, you notice that's different. That's to access uh, your phone. So you can still use your phone screen and things like that with it, which is really handy because you'll have to take them off. I'd probably, if you want to get your fingers protected, if it's a cold day, getting shot in the knuckles sucks. Um, I know that. Um, but otherwise, you can get fingerless ones as well if you're finicking about reloading mags and stuff. So you ought to put them on, boy. You're looking good so far. We've got some more uh, kit to put on you in a second. Well, Joey's got this, so we're going to lose these these glasses now. We don't need these. That is one of your cheapest options for uh, eye protection. Um, this is another one, so we're just going to drop this down, boy. Mm -hmm. So you can breathe again now. Is that yeah. a bit better? Yeah. So this is about 19, 20 pounds. Um, mesh, so it doesn't steam up. It will protect you, and it looks cool as well. People go around with like. Uh, predator mask, like alien, like the, all sorts of stuff. This is a bit like Army of Two stuff. So Joey's gonna look pretty evil there. So yeah. that's pretty cool. You have to see how he looks and what looks the best. Uh, comment below on, on what looks the best there. This will obviously need adjusting. This is for me. Yeah. So uh, I'll fill it out a bit more. <laughs> but yeah, but I think that's cool. Uh, cool factor, 10 out of 10 for that one. Um, the only thing I would recommend is your peripheral is not, it's good, but it's not great. And also, if you're aiming down a rifle, you're going to rest your cheek on the buttstock. Uh, it can stop you a little bit there. So, not. this is why I bought some other stuff as well. These come as a pair. $12.99 these cost me. And absolutely amazing combo there. Um, so, you've got the mesh there so you can still breathe. Ear protection. Getting shot in the ear also sucks. I'm going to put this on. It's going to... Can you... Uh, what gives you best Bane impression, boy? Uh, okay, uh, let me try. I was born in the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, rate that comment. <laughs> so this uh, looks to the side. This covers up your ears. You've got a little mesh over your ears as well, so you can still have people speak. Um, and then it fully covers up there. And these pair with the goggles, which don't actually steam up with mm -hmm. this stuff. They go together like that. And then he's got his stuff over his ear there uh, for protection. I've paired it up with this awesome awesome i'm so happy with this this was like 28 pounds honestly it's got the picatinny rail on the side so i can put gopro attachments torches uh anything like that we've got all this velcro on for at other attachments um you can put logos you know how much stuff you can army the hell out of it it's got the sort of over ear protection there and you've got the night vision attachment and also gopro attachment things like that because obviously what I'm going to be doing is vlogging it and putting the full battles up and you'll see me actually use this stuff physically. So look at me, boy. This honestly <laughs> looks ace. Uh, the only thing I get is you can see the skin through there, but if yeah. you've got this on, you won't, you won't do it on now. It will cover it up, but look at the camera for me. So, mm -hmm. durable, good. Um, don't steam up. Don't steam up. And then you. you click it in and all that and he's basically ready to go long sleeve top or something like that the helmet is so uh, actually impressive to me for the price 28 quid really this is the setup that i am going to be wearing there is nothing on show there you have not got to worry about getting shot anywhere if that's going to bother you um but yeah long sleeve top again with the clothes anything like that we're just going to um for example's sake let's take the mask off boy the stuff like this this is cheap uh again it's like five quid or something for the extra five uh, i would definitely go um this and this but it's just another option depends how you want to look you could do that look and you could you know, a bit special forces if you wanted to um it's that sort of thing but yeah goggles mask i don't know i don't really like it because it gives you that for an air hole and you're going to be running around huffing and puffing breathing like an asthmatic um yeah not very good for it but Mm -hmm. Overall, that's all the equipment, boys and girls. Um, yeah, full face mask, sick. 
this. We're going to dress him all up now for the thumbnail. So if you enjoyed playing dress up and being the model. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I'm going to go for a few times, uh, get some gear sorted, gun reviews coming up, and then um, we're going to go together and do that sort of stuff. So, you know, we can share this uh, gear among us and, and do that sort of stuff. So let me what you know what you thought to the video below. Comment what your favourite piece of equipment was. Um, if you do airsofting, would you recommend anything else? Like and subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, we'll catch you next one. Thanks for watching. Peace. Bye. All right, cheers, boy. Good.